So let's go over Bootstrap's popover control. So if we're going to use the popover control, we need to place it on a button. And right here we have the button type and the button class. That's all we need there. And we'll need a few data-bs uh, property types. Uh, container, toggle, placement, content. And we also have title here. Uh, we can actually uh, take title out and we'll just have a content area. Or we can leave the content area and keep the title in, but it'll look a little funky. It'll have a title and then an empty space underneath it. But these are, th these are what you need in order to get the container to work. Uh, so just kind of what these do, this container here is just really to help with resizing if I guess if your phone's flipping and uh, it changes size and position, this is going to make sure that the anchor tag for the popover is centered correctly. We need to put the toggle popover for this to even work. Uh, we need to set a placement uh, if we want a placement, otherwise it's going to default to the right. Um, and the title is optional, but the title add a little strip on the top that'll give the title for your content, and that'll be denoted by the uh, dash content property type. So we have a couple other options we can do here. We can actually add an HTML content to true, and then we, when we change the content to use HTML tags, it'll actually have uh, some HTML content. So here we got uh, italics, underline, and bolded. So those are some of the things you can do, and let's just kind of click over these. So there's, oh, save that. So this is the popover on the top, on the right, on the bottom, and on the left. I'll show you what happens here if we take out the placement at the top. You'll see it'll go over to the right. So normally when you click on these, um, by default, uh, you'll have to click off of them for them to disappear. Uh, we made a change in the back. We pass an option parameter called trigger and focus. And this is basically so that whenever you click on something other than this button, this popover goes away. And that's kind of useful because if you had all these open and then you navigated away from the page, these would stay alive and that doesn't look too well. Um, so in order to get popovers to work originally, uh, you need to turn it on. And this is just for performance reasons. And in order to get all of the popovers on a page to be turned on, what we do is we go into the uh, init uh, lifecycle hook. We do a query selector for this for the toggle property uh, popover. And then we loop through all of those and we're passing in the element here with a bootstrap dot popover new element with the trigger focus in order to get that focus effect. And we'll kind of show you what happens if you don't have this. So if we turn so if we turn that on, turn this on, see how they're all turned on, and we have to turn them off. But what happens if we go to another page? So those will still stay on. So that's why we add this trigger focus here, just so whenever we clicked off, so let's say we had that on and we clicked over here, it would go away. So that's kind of a better effect to have for your audience. So I recommend that you turn that trigger focus option on whenever you create these pop or uh, instantiate these pop overs uh, on your initialization. All right, and I hope uh, that demystifies some of the popover control um, how-tos, how to work them, how to change them. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, post them below, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks.